Hey, what's going on, y'all? So, you know, best here, and Apple is kicking today off with a bang. They released some brand new MacBook Pros and also gave us a little bit more in depth look at Mac OS X Line, the next version of their OS for their desktops and laptops. But let's go to first look at the MacBook Pros. As far as the, uh, the processors, they really bumped them up a little bit here. Now, the 13 inch MacBook Pro can get the fastest dual core processors available. It's the 2.7 gigahertz Intel Core i7. And also, the 15 and 17 inch models, you can get quad core power up to 2.3 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i7 processor. And also, these are based off the brand new uh, Sandy Bridge chipsets that uh, Intel is just releasing. So it provides low power and better efficiency and just, just better overall processors in general. So, and also, Apple says these MacBook Pros are across all the, across all the models are roughly about twice as fast as the previous generation. So that's a really good job there. Now, also, they're upgrade, upgrading the graphics as well. And also, they're making an interesting switch from NVIDIA over to uh, ATI as far as the graphics. So the 13 inch MacBook Pro, you're still going to get the integrated Intel HD Graphics 3000 chips. But um, then when you get to the 15 to 17 inch versions, you have an option between the, uh, the AMD Radeon HD 6490 mobile, or you can get the uh, 6750 mobile, which has uh, one gigabyte of GDDR5 dedicated video memory. So that's some really good graphics power. You can get some really good gaming. Uh, of course, if you're boot camp or you're playing StarCraft on your Mac, limited to games. But anyway, you can get some really good games plus good performance on video intensive applications. Now, let's talk about Thunderbolt. Now, if you don't know what Thunderbolt is, it's basically um, Intel has been working on this light peak technology, which is just something that can replace USB. Now, there's USB 3.0 that's coming out, which is very fast transfer speeds. But this is not that. This is something different, something better, about twice as fast as USB 3.0. And you can roughly stream or not stream, but you can send and transfer HD files, full HD movies over just in a matter of a second. Um, you can daisy chain and, and attach multiple displays or multiple devices that connect with this port very easily. And it's the same port as the mini display port. It's all combined in together. So you can still hook up your LED cinema display to the same port, but also you can hook up an external hard drive and really just transfer all your data very fast. And there's going to be some more uses for this, but this is Apple's first computers that they actually put in this Thunderbolt in. So you can expect those to come to iMacs and Mac Pros very soon. Um, and also they're introducing a new FaceTime HD camera so they're getting rid of the whole eyesight logo so now the built-in webcams on the MacBook uh, Pros are HD you can do 720p HD and you can do 720p HD FaceTime calls which Apple just released the official FaceTime application in the Mac App Store for a dollar if you are if you're currently using the beta I mean it's not that much different unless you have one of these MacBook Pros um, so you may not need to get that yet. And also today, Apple gave us a more in-depth look at Mac OS X Lime. It's going to be the brand new OS replacing Snow Leopard on Macs coming this summer. And then they showed off some new things. One thing is called versions, where if you're working on a document, it'll save it every hour. And also, it'll save it every time you open it up. So say you, this say is Friday or something, and you want to go back to the way uh, the, the document was on Tuesday, it'll kind of give you the option to kind of use time machine, similar uh, type of effect, and go back to that document at that previous state. Also, resume is where if you need to restart your Mac for any reason, once your Mac boots back up, all the applications and everything will be in the same exact order. All your browsers uh, will have the same tabs or already be back open, which is cool. Um, and also the new Mail 5 is going to be getting a, a little a re, uh, relaunch here. So the Mail application is going to be looking kind of similar to what it looks like on the iPad. Have all your messages on the left-hand side. And you simply click on whatever one you want to look at and it'll open it up on the right-hand side. So it'll look just like it looks on uh, iOS. And also probably one of the coolest things is called AirDrop. And it's very similar to the application I showed in my What's in My Doc application called Drop Copy. Uh, whereas that if if you have AirDrop running on your Mac and you need to you want to share a file with somebody else in your on your network, as long as they have AirDrop running, you'll be able to drag and drop that file and drop it on their name or their picture or whatever, and they'll send that file over to them. And then once they accept the file, it'll go to automatically start downloading. So that's really really cool to finally get that that feature into this. That's going to be very simple and easy to share files upon your network. I also talk about Line Server and anyway, you can go to the web, the website there and see more things about the Mac OS X Line. But anyway, today's going to be a a very good day uh, for Apple. It's kind of interesting they're making all these changes on the launch of the Motorola Zoom. Hmm. I'm about to go pick that up in a second, so stay tuned for that. Um, anyway, Apple's is starting off things here. So anyway, let me know what you think about these new changes. Leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.